This is the science of human flourishing that I've been referring to, the field of applied positive psychology, where they talk about five pillars of well-being. And if you think about them like gauges in your car, uh, um, you can monitor them and see where you are. Well, how am I doing in terms of cultivating positive emotion or experiencing positive emotion? How am I doing in terms of a sense of engagement in my life? My, how are my relationships? How's my sense of meaning? How's my sense of accomplishment? Meaning that what the, the field of positive psychology and the science of human flourishing has just exploded and the amount of research that we have from a whole host of different areas of, uh, of social and hard sciences uh, shows us that when we use these kinds of models of well-being and people are balancing their lives in, in these five areas, or there's a couple of other models of well-being that have six or seven areas in them, that really what we're, we're doing is we're creating a much stronger foundation internally with which to weather the storms going forward. So I just wanted to show you really briefly, again, there are intentional interventions to increase a sense of hope or pride or serenity or gratitude or joy or love. These are some of the positive emotions. And when you have these intentional small doses of positive emotion throughout the course of your day, because you go out of your way to, to recognize the things you're grateful in your life, or because you offer help to somebody and as a, res as a result of that, feel an increased sense of love or serenity or pride in your life, that what we're doing is we're creating these upward spirals. And those upward spirals are not only protective against the stresses that we experience in life, including ongoing stresses, but they also are promotive in terms of helping us to experience greater well-being. The same is true for our relationships in our life. By not just sort of knowing that we have these relationships and uh, uh, waiting for the opportunity to present itself to cultivate those relationships. But when we go out of our way to cultivate them, we are, again, increasing one, another one of those foundations of well-being. Um, and so I was just using this as an example of how we really go out of our way when there's a crisis to kind of come together very organically and help each other. That's because we're being driven by something very innate and primal inside of us, which is that pulling together when we are troubled or in need. But remember one of the risk factors for negative outcomes was when people use what's called an avoidant style, when they pull away from people when they're suffering. I don't know about you, but I know that when I was going through that year and I was, you know, just every time I came up, I got hit by another wave. One of the things I started to do was to withdraw from people, which is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing at that point in time. But it's hard to be vulnerable. And so I, I really want to offer you know, an encouragement and, and the backup of some science that says, not only do we need to be reaching out, but it's, it's incredibly, it's critical to our overall sense of health and well-being to do so. Though this withdrawal is actually intensifying, you know, all of those uh, comorbidities that increase the possibility or the probability of negative outcomes. And creating a sense of meaning in your life, usually after some kind of a seismic shift, uh, some kind of a crisis, we can lose our sense of meaning for a period of time. And really understanding how important it is to come back to that sense of meaning, whatever that is to you. In my case, remember, it, it was my initial sense of meaning was my children and still is, but very much wanting to be an example to the other people in my family who were suffering from the same thing and um, and then wanting to be able to offer it to the larger world as well has become a really driving force for me. Um, and I was using this as a sense of like accomplishment, this ability to be able to harness our strengths to, to do things that are, uh, are beyond our day-to-day -day kind of actions.